Hello and welcome to Cruises for Solos and Cruise Tips on Cruises for Solos. Today we're going to be talking about cruise lines that have ships with solo cabins. Because one of the biggest problems of cruising solo is that you often have to pay double the money because there's just one of you and the, um, the cabin's for two people. And that makes it really difficult to cruise. But, can you believe it? There are actually 11 different cruise lines out there that I've worked out anyway that have solo cabins. Now, if you book in a solo cabin, you can normally pay a much better price. Okay, do check the prices, guys, because you can often get a better deal than inside cabin sometimes, because sometimes the solo cabins are really, really um, popular. But normally, they give you a real opportunity to cruise at much less than double the price that you'd normally pay. So, which cruise lines have solo cabins? Well, I found 11. I'm going to put them in order of the 11 and count down to number one and um, I'm going to do it as the, the, the ship that has the most cabins for each cruise line. So, who's number 11? Okay, number 11 might surprise you but a classic cruise line, Cunard. Cunard are number 11, they have three ships and the Queen Mary 2 has 15 solo cabins which is great and they also have the Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Victoria with nine each. Okay, so who's number 10? We're now in the top 10. This will surprise you. Tiptoeing in with their first go. Finally, we have Celebrity Cruises and their brand new ship, The Edge, has 16 solo cabins. Finally, Celebrity, well done. You finally give us solos an opportunity to cruise what looks like an incredible cruise line. So Celebrity Edge is number 10. Right, number nine, we have Holland America. And that comes in with 20. At number 8, Costa Cruises, 21. At number 7, P&O. And, and that's the Britannia, the favourite Britannia, with 27 solo cabins. So 27 solo cabins. We're getting there now. That makes it more affordable. If you've got over 20 solo cabins, then you know they don't sell out that quick. So hopefully you've got an opportunity of getting a good deal. Number 6. Who do you think number 6 is? Royal Caribbean. Guys, our solos have an opportunity of cruising with Royal Caribbean on their massive mega ships, yeah? The Quantum and Novation of the Seas have 28 solo cabins each. So, you know, you probably have to book early, but at least you've got an opportunity of cruising solo with Royal Caribbean. Number five. We have MSC. MSC, yes? 32 solo cabins. And that's not bad, eh? Number four, coming in from absolutely nowhere, from nowhere to number four, this would be a big surprise, guys. It surprised me, yeah? And it's great news. Virgin Voyages. The new Scarlet Lady has 46 solo cabins. How good is that? So a Virgin, if that's how you're going with your new ships, 46 solo cabins, that's fantastic for our solos. We've got a great chance of cruising with you, yeah? And six of those are ocean views. How good is that? So now we get to the top three. Top three. Number three, Fred Olsen. Now Fred Olsen, the Balmora, has 64 solo cabins, yeah? That's impressive. So if you're looking to cruise solo you know, and you want to get a good deal and you hope that the cabins don't sell out, um, Fred Olsen, 64 solo cabins on the Balmora. That's fantastic. Now, the top two. Who are the top two looking after us solo travellers? Number two, Saga. Saga Cruises, yeah? And the brand new Spirit of Discovery. I'm a bit confused by this, by the way, yeah? Because I worked out they had 81 solo cabins, which is amazing. But I saw on the website, they're saying they have over 100 solo cabins. And there are lots of Saga ships that have solo cabins, yeah? So, the Spirit of Discovery. 81, maybe over 100 solo cabins. And they've got solo cabins of every type and description on the new Discovery, yeah? You're talking about balconies as well. They're really going for it, guys. So, Saga Cruises, massive tip for you. You are, you are number two. Well done, guys. I'm really impressed. And now we reach number one. Which of the cruise line that best looks after our solo travellers? I bet most solo people will know who it is already, yeah? It's Norwegian Cruise Line. Thank you, Norwegian Cruise Line. 
you are fantastic, yeah. You not only look after our solo travellers, you also have a solo lounge where we have solo meetings, where we can meet up and go for dinner together. We want to go and see a show together. And the solo lounge is purely just for the solos, yeah. And it's got the best coffee machine on the ship, on the Epic, yeah. The Norwegian Epic has the best coffee machine in the solo lounge. And the Norwegian Epic has a massive 128 solo cabins. How good is that, guys? 128 solo cabins. And not just that, the brand new ship, yeah, which I will be on for the inaugural cruise going from Southampton to New York. The brand new Encore has 82 solo cabins and a solo lounge. So does the Bliss, 82 solo cabins. So does the Escape. I'm doing that next year from Southampton, 82 solo cabins. The Getaway, the Breakaway, 59 solo cabins. And if you want to go to Hawaii, Pride of America, four solo cabins. So guys, hopefully this has helped you. Please subscribe to our channel. I really need you to subscribe, yeah? Just to show you, there are 11 different cruise lines out there. There might be more. If I made a mistake, I'll add them in comments, yeah? 11 different cruise lines with loads of solo cabins. So you can cruise solo and you can get a good deal. Thanks for watching. Bye.